Birmingham, a city whose roots are in industry, served by a canal network which historically brought goods in and out, a channel of life flowing through the heart of the city. We planted Gas Street Church in 2015 with a vision to be light for the city. We love this image of bringing light and hope to this beautiful city. And one of our values is that we'd be woven in worship, that as we worship Jesus Christ, He would empower us and equip us to carry light into the darkness. When any community is formed, each member brings their own flavour and experience. But we all made the conscious decision to unlearn patterns, to rewire, embrace the new, embrace the mess. We entered into a new season of worship together, finding songs that were rooted in and born out of our city and our community. Inspiration came from the rewilding of some land in the south of England, where the fences were taken down, no more chemicals were used on the soil, and natural wildlife was reintroduced. The result was incredible. The land went through a process of total recovery and renewal. And afterwards, when visitors showed up, they commented on the sound of the birds and the insects. It was as if the natural song of the earth was awakened again. We started to ask the question, what would it look like for us to be uninhibited and unrestricted, free from any plans or preconceptions of what worship music is expected to be? A phrase that kept coming to me was, unearth the song. So we opened up the floor and discovered new voices that were unfiltered and raw, yet prophetic and profound. Dear Corinthians, I can't tell you how much I long for you to enter into this wide open, spacious life. We didn't fence you in. Your lives aren't small, but you're living them in a small way. Open up your lives, live openly and expansively. As a church, we are living this. Artists are creating, writers are writing, preachers are preaching, musicians are playing, embracing the discomfort and discipline of letting go. I'm convinced the great need for our churches today is to see more freedom and more space being given to the spirit of the living God to move. We need more disruption, more honesty and passion in our expressions of love and devotion. We need way more mess and we have to take more risks. They're songs that are shaped by the dynamic and diverse family that we're a part of. And they release the heart cry over this city. It's the sound of hospital workers, homemakers, engineers, entrepreneurs, charity workers, teachers, and the list goes on and on. All of us together lifting high the name of Jesus. It's the soundtrack of what God's doing in our midst. That his presence is with us as we gather and as we scatter. We want these songs to carry a sense of getting back to the wide open space, raw, unfiltered, unhindered worship, and draw from the goodness of the soil in which we've been planted. Last year, my family and I were going through an incredibly hard time. And there was one Sunday we were like, we just have to get to church. Part of the hard time was that I was having a lot of back pain. And so in this moment, kind of at the crux of worship, I guess, there was this line, rule and reign, peace in Jesus' name. And at that moment, I felt this um, kind of push and pull within me. And in that moment where all the pain went away, I just felt Jesus saying, I love you and this is what I can do for you right now. Rewilding is a journey we've been on as a community and as a church. We've been finding fresh expressions of worship, new voices and new sounds have been raised up. It's been a resetting, a recalibration, and in many ways for us, it's been a rediscovery.